Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest and the new series, Scrying for Fairies. In front of you on the screen is the Dutch oven and the spoon and the water that I use on the top of my stove because I have a hood with a light in it that shines very nicely in this portion of the Dutch oven and the water. So what I'm about to show you are two sessions that I did on the 15th of March and this first one was for 47 seconds and the second one was for 53 seconds and that might seem a very short amount of time to be able to get anything but keep in mind that every swirl or every movement is looked at of this entire 47 or 53 seconds so I go frame by frame so it takes a while to look at the entire short video so that's why I try to keep the videos fairly short so let's get started seeing what we got in the videos this time in our scrying for fairies I had just Put the spoon in this one to be able to get the water swirling so just the barest amount of movement brought me this image which kind of reminds me of an owl we have the light here that makes the beak we have an eye we have the other eye starting the form and we have the shape of the head that reminds me of the owl but it is basically the beak here that gives that impression to me this, by the way, became a kind of theme. So if you are someone who is attracted to birds or is considering getting a bird or has a bird totem animal or has seen a lot of birds that the fairies or our unseen helpers such as angels, spirit guides, pass on loved ones that are trying to give us a message perhaps through the birds you might want to pay really close attention to this video. The next image, again, my spoon is here. I have barely moved it from the owl and we have this creature that kind of resembles a rat, but yet also perhaps a ferret. So here is the nose, here's an ear, the entire body, here's the back, the tail is fairly long here, and we have a leg and a foot, here's the leg again, going up the back and the jawline. So we have him. After that, he morphed into what I call a kind of black cartoon cat in a way. We can see the eye with the eye bit for a cat here. The other eye, we have an ear, another ear. Here's the nose. And its body is, it's got its head turned because here's a jawline. Its head is turned towards us, but the body is facing away from us. So here's the body. Head is cranked around. So those were fun. The very first three that came forth in this scrying session. In this next picture we have two people. The first one is this old guy. Okay, He's mostly gray. Not super defined. He is wearing a hat. And the woman is a little bit harder to see. We kind of have an ear. She's a little morphed out but we can still see her. Here's her eye, her part of her forehead, nose, and she is angry. She's shouting at something. This one shows part of a head, although the face is very morphed out of proportion. But I wanted you to see the hair. Okay, now whereas everything here is like stark white, stark black, the hair is actually looks soft. At least a portion of the hair looks very soft. And then we have the collar, 
one arm, at least a portion of it, and it goes down into the body and I believe a dress. So this was trying to form into a female and the swirl was just too quick, but I did want to show you the hair that shows up. And if you look, this one was interesting, very hard to see anything specific, but it was just almost like the formation of a person here. Here's the face. Here's interesting hairstyle, perhaps feet, and another one with, I believe this was the hat. But we also have what appears to be the head of like a cockatoo bird here. But I enjoy the ones that are very abstract, I guess, quite abstract, but yet you can see the fairies within them. You see the, the beak? I know it doesn't quite have the top knot. Maybe its top knot is down. Anyway, it just reminded me of a cockatoo. This one's pretty clear. Not sure what species, but quite clear. Here's a nose, here's an eye, here's an eye. It looks like an ear here. We have some hair, an outfit of some sort, and legs. This one didn't necessarily have a really super clear body or face. However, we do have this guy here. Okay, and we can see his eye and his eye. We have an eyebrow, part of his mouth. Okay, and then we have another one here that is gray. We can see neck. Here's an ear, chin, mouth would be here somewhere, nose, up over the forehead, hair flowing back. We have an eye here. But what really fascinated me with this one was every once in a while we get gadgets of some sort. I have no idea what this is, but it's a gadget and I and it comes out very clearly. I'm assuming it is somehow attached to this guy here because of the coloring, but I don't know for sure. This is a little girl fairy, I believe. We can see legs here. She has her back to us. She also is wearing a reddish colored headband. Her head is kind of turned a little bit so that we can see an eye here and the shape of her face. So here would have been her nose and the lower part of her face where her eye is. And I believe she's holding something, but I can't really tell what that is. Here would be a hand and her hair is kind of here. So she's kind of a cutie. And here we have what I consider the head of a baby bird. We have an eye, we have the beak, other eye we can sort of see, top of the head. So you can see now why I'm saying that there's a bit of a bird theme here today. Again, we have not a very detailed image, but this is the shape of an eagle's head, an American eagle with the white head. And then we also have a person here, kind of nudged up against the back of this eagle head, very fuzzy, reddish hair, Here's a face. We can't see things very clearly, but here's the, the face. I would be here. This looks like a collar. And then here's a hand. And somewhere down in here, I thought I saw feet previously, but anyway, this is not a very clear person, but it is a person or fairy, whatever you'd like to say. But again, bird theme here with the eagle. It even has the eye in the right place <laughs> and the beak comes up like and yeah pretty cool and as we're swirling we have a very interesting bird shape here as well right stark in the middle here can't really miss that one and this one was interesting as well it looks like this is hair very interesting hair. Soft, you can actually, if you look close, you can see the strokes or individual strands almost of hair. 
Her eye is here. Her nose and face here. Not sure if that's a tooth or not, but anyway, it comes down here. Here's her neck. She is actually wearing an earring and we can see her shoulder and then part of her body here as far as I know. This guy kind of shows up in a morphed kind of way, but we can see one eye, tip of the nose, here's part of the mouth. This eye is kind of winking <laughs> and we have a head here, a whole head, might be a hat, some hair, and here is an arm and a hand. Can't really see the rest of him though. And then as the swirl was completely almost gone, frame by frame, still working to the very end of the video, this face popped up. I see an eye, an eye, a nose. The mouth is a little difficult to see, but we do see the shape of the head. So perhaps that is a face someone recognizes. So this was the end of the very first video that was 47 seconds long, done on March 15th, 2021. And here <laughs> is some black food coloring. I wanted to test to see if anything would be different if I added a little black food coloring to the water in the Dutch oven because the Dutch oven that I'm using is kind of rusted in the bottom. It doesn't have that black sheen to the inside of it anymore. So I wanted to add the black food coloring. When I did, I'm showing you the difference here. Now, doesn't really seem all that different actually, maybe around the edges here. And I think the picture is probably a little clearer with the one that had the black food coloring added. So this will be another test. This video was 53 seconds long, the second one with the black food coloring, but I did not get very many pictures from this one. So it could be just that the fairies had shown themselves, as many that were going to, showed themselves in the first video and so kind of went about their business on the second, but I did get a few, so not a very clear one, but we can definitely see there is a guy here or a person. Here's a leg, here's a leg, here's an arm. It looks like the hand is being held out in front of the body as though talk to the hand kind of thing, only angled a bit. And we really can't see the face clearly here, but you can definitely tell it's a person. This one was rather interesting and I kind of debated on whether to use it or not, but we have someone with a hat here, almost like a I don't know, captain's hat maybe, or someone from a ship. We have a deep sideburn here. Here's an eyebrow. We have eyes here and a very interesting shaped nose, which could also be combo mouth. I don't know for sure. And he seems to be holding a creature and we can see the creature's eye here and the nose and the mouth. And it has kind of like a, almost like a snake body. So anyway, that was kind of an interesting image. He looks like he's sleeping. Then we have another to add to the bird theme. We have the head of what I would envision as a hawk. So we have the beak, top part of the head. This is where the back would go, kind of cuts off. Here is the eye. And then this would be another part of the head before it reaches the back and the chest. So hopefully you can see that hawk like bird. And the last picture that we have for this video is where you can kind of see parts of the hood, although I still have 
no idea what this is in my hood because like any stove hood you have the fan and the covering for the fan and then you have the light bulb I don't have anything like this and I certainly don't have something that looks like a switch this was not what I was looking at specifically what I was seeing was the little face <laughs> in this and we can you maybe cannot see it because it is so small I'll see if I can make it a little larger without blurring it too much kind of blurred but we have an eye an eye here's the shape of the head there's an ear on this side there's an ear on this side and we can't see any other part of the body just the head in this round circle that I cannot identify and like I said every once in a while I do get interesting shapes that seem like technology to me that should not be in a scrying Dutch oven <laughs> the water of a Dutch oven but here you have it so I hope you've enjoyed this scrying session and we will see you again for another one in the near future take care